on uh, notching music for uh, people who suffer from tinnitus and uh, this particular uh, tutorial is for Macintosh and it's uh, real-time notching so every single sound on your computer that will be played will be notched uh, using the, the technique we'll, we'll be using so um, notched music is um, a it's a kind of a treatment for a tinnitus. It's um, it's a, a technique where you you take out some frequencies from sounds, especially music or uh, other broadband noise like white noise or rain no noise. And uh, it's supposed to uh, to help people with tinnitus, and uh, it's kind of a long treatment, so you should be using. Uh, this uh, notched music or notched noise for around six months or up to twelve months to see uh, any um, any result. So um, for this tutorial, we'll be using Soundflower, which is a um, an, an open source uh, free tool, and we'll also be using GarageBand, which is uh, in every Macintosh. It's a standard tool. Uh, that's made by Apple. So uh, you just have to Google up uh, Soundflower and click on the first uh, website, which is on Google Code. Next, we'll be downloading uh, the latest version. So I guess everyone knows uh, how to install uh, software on their computer. So once this is installed, you have to go to System Preferences, then to Sound Preferences, and in the Output section of the Preferences, you must choose Sound Flower uh, Two Channel. Uh, it's, uh, it's the, the Two Channel uh, output we'll be using. and then you can close the window and next you will have to launch the GarageBand if you don't have a GarageBand on your computer it's in uh, iLife CD that's uh, supposed to be shipped with your your Macintosh and if you don't have any have it in your dock you will find it in using the finder and then in applications and then you go to GarageBand So we'll be launching a new project in GarageBand. You can choose piano if you if you have this version. Then you go on to uh, to choosing a location for uh, the project. So we'll be uh, using music, for example, and we'll be uh, naming it Notched Tutorial. This section here is useless in this kind of project. So you will be using uh, maybe GarageBand for the first time, so this is a music software and uh, the default uh, piano project looks like this. Uh, you have this part here which is a piano track that we don't need so we can go up to track and delete track and then we have to create a new track so we go again up to track and click on new track so this is the, uh, the important part so we'll be using a real instrument track and then we have to click on the instrument setup tab choose uh, the input as sound flower to channel and in uh, stereo and then the output will be built-in output and then click create so um, if you play sounds from a, a software like well, we'll be using Spotify here you should see the uh, the levels playing. So we'll try this. 
but no sound should be played right now. So okay, so we can see there's uh, some sound that's uh, inputted from uh, from uh, Spotify into Soundflower, and then GarageBand is picking it, picking it up. And the uh, important part is in the edit part. So this is here. If you don't have this tab, it's the uh, blue information button that is right here. So we, we can get it up again. And then the effect we'll be using, it's uh, called AU Parametric Equalizer. And then you can click on this uh, icon here to have the um, the options panel of this plugin. So here we are. So the the the, um, the principle of notch music is to uh, to reduce the frequencies, uh, for which is corresponding to you, the sound of your tinnitus. So if you um. If your uh, tinnitus is tonal, you can you, you can hear that it's a constant sound. It's a, uh, it has a kind of a, um, a steady quality to it. And then to find the pitch, uh, you can use uh, the website uh, audionotch.com, uh, and in uh, the um, the tune section of the website, which is in the in the footer, oh, we can't see it. Here. Uh, I try and bring this up. Okay, so this is a tune, the tuner. Um, on this tool, you you have this slider here that uh, will help you match your uh, the tone of your tinnitus. It can be uh, it can be a bit difficult. It can take around, I don't know, maybe, maybe a few hours to be really sure about the the tone of your tinnitus. So I guess mine is around seven hundred and five thousand hertz. And then you will have to go uh, into GarageBand and then um, notch this uh, uh, this frequency with frequency with the parametric equalizer. So you you have to use this uh, round circle here and then uh, go down uh, to the maximum and then in the frequency you, you can see the frequency moving here and then you try to get as close as possible to uh, to the tone and the best thing is to um, to narrow the band of the of the notch so you have to click on the the borders of the of the of the, the notch here so you can see you can narrow or wide, widen the notch so Let's use the, the narrowest uh, notch possible. And then, once this is done, go, you can go back to Browse. And here you have to click Monitor, monitor and select On with, without feedback protection. So, if we play some music here, it should, should output from, uh, from our speakers. So, you can hear this music playing, and this music is notched uh, in real time uh, by uh, by GarageBand. One important thing to uh, to know is that you have to have um, some wide band uh, kind of sound coming up from from your computer for this to be the most effective. The most effective is white noise or rain no noise, and uh, to and some kind of music can have quite a wide band, uh, so if you you have to to um, to check what frequencies are uh, are used the most. I'll stop this for a moment. And to see the frequencies, you must uh, enable the um, analyzer on the visual EQ here. So you click on this option here. Then select Analyzer, and then you can play some sound. And then here you, we, we can see in real time uh, that the the, the, uh, the frequencies are are played, and 
you need some music that has some frequencies that are above and under uh, the tinnitus. So if you have some some music that doesn't have a wide band or doesn't have much high frequencies, it would be less effective. So, uh, well, I guess this, that's about it for uh, this tutorial. Um, the setup I use, uh, I, um, I, will, I will close this and show you how I've set up mine. So I, I won't be saving this one. I'll be opening this one, it's called Notch, in my dock. And then the um, I've doubled the uh, the parametric EQ, so I have both the same notch, but I've done it twice because um, the parametric EQ doesn't lower enough uh, the frequencies. And I've added uh, this filter to um, to add a bit more treble on 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 my uh, my music, so that the the high frequencies are are a little bit louder to, to stimulate the, the ear and the higher frequencies. Okay, so this is uh, finished for this tutorial. I hope this uh, will help people um, with their tinnitus and uh, maybe you can say in the comments part if, uh, if this worked for you. Goodbye.